what's up everybody? Welcome to week one here on the 52 Horrific Weeks in 1988 series. I am your host Mood616 and thank you once again for stopping in. Alrighty, so that's right guys, brand new year, so that means a brand new series. And yes, I have chose to do 1988. Uh, I think 1988 is a fantastic year. Uh, it's got a lot of great films, a lot of different types of films. Uh, one thing that really does stand out about 1988, in my opinion, is that uh, it has a shit ton of sequels. I know, like, the later 80s kind of does. 87 has quite a few, too. 88 has a lot, too, man. Like, major franchise sequels, including, like, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Halloween. Um, it's got, you know, Hellraiser sequel. Uh, but yeah, just an overall really fun year, a lot of really good films. I do want to mention something. If you watch the intro before you're watching this, if you saw anything in the intro or any films you know of that came out in 1988 that aren't in that list, uh, just feel free to let me know so I can put them in there or whatnot because I'm not perfect. I do miss things and stuff. And uh, But yeah. So anyways, uh, this is actually kind of weird because this is one of the newest additions to my 1988 collection. I just showed this off in an update. I put all the films into the randomizer, hit that random button, there's like 57 films on the list, and lo and behold, Scarecrows actually came up. I could not fucking believe this. Um, kind of weird, but uh, that's just the way the randomizer works, I guess. Um, yeah, so Scarecrows, um, directed by William Wesley. Uh, Alright, so getting into the plot of this one. Uh, it basically starts out with this band of ex-military personnel that have, you know, have gone all bad. They have just pulled off a multi-million dollar heist, um, and now they're escaping in a cargo plane that they hijacked, and they're on their way to Mexico. So I think there's like five or six of them. Um, so on their way, uh, you know, out of the country, on their way to Mexico, one of the guys decides to go AWOL on him. Um, he jumps out of the cargo plane, parachutes out of there with all the money. Um, but little does he know, that where he's jumping, he actually jumps into this field that's full of like scarecrows and, and shit like that. There's an abandoned house right on the property and stuff, so he kind of tries to set up shop there. Everyone else obviously notices that he jumps out of the plane, so of course they follow him. Uh, they land the plane and uh, try to, you know, hunt him down and get the fucking money back because, you know, Buddy went AWOL on them and shit like that. And of course, um, you know, what they don't know is where they are is, you know, it's kind of a fucked up place. It's got these scarecrows all over the place, and there's some there's some supernatural evil happening there and shit. And it doesn't really work out too well for you know all the all the assailants. Let's just put it that way. Um, but yeah, so that's your quick little pr uh, plot of the film. Now my thoughts on this one. Uh, this movie is fantastic. Um, you know, it all takes place at nighttime. And it has a great, great atmosphere. I love. The, the opening scene where the dude jumps out of the plane, lands into the field, and he's just kind of looking around going, holy fuck, like all these weird-ass scarecrows, and just the field and the, the where they film this, it's just, it's so perfect. It's just so, like, run down and dismal, and just adds a lot of feel and atmosphere to the, you know, the, the film. Of course, being at nighttime really helps, too. Um, but yeah, just an incredibly creepy film. The, the scarecrows looked, um, look amazing in this movie. They look so old and dismal and and what they're trying or I mean I don't want to give away what they're doing um and why or why they start killing off these people one by one but um it's very interesting it's very cool you don't really learn a whole lot about the backgrounds of the you know the scarecrows and, and why they're there and stuff but still very cool um the gore is pretty good in this it's just got an overall really odd feel feeling to the film it's uh not your typical scarecrow film um, but, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just such an amazing made film, I just, uh, one thing I do like about all the assailants is that they're all dressed in military gear, so they have all the awesome guns and stuff, but they all have headsets, so they're all talking to other headsets, and that's how a lot of the communication is done throughout the film. So you might be focusing on one character, but you'll hear the voice of another because it's coming through the headsets and stuff. I really like that angle of the communication, and it really adds to the, it adds to the, um, you know, kind of the freakiness of the film because you don't really know, you know, what's going on until you stop hearing the voice, you know, you might hear the voice and all of a sudden it's just, you know, they're not there anymore because something might have happened to them. I really liked that angle. I thought it was really fun. Um, but yeah, you know, overall, this is just a fantastic film. It's a short movie. It runs just under 80 minutes. So it gets right into the point of it. 
uh, which is fantastic. There's no slow moments in this. It's very creepy and just well done. Great atmospheric film. I mean, if you love atmospheric films, this is definitely one to check out. Uh, yeah, if I had to rate this one, I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10. Uh, I've always loved this movie. I'm so happy that I finally got a copy of this. Uh, yeah, it's just a great Scarecrow film. One of the best I've ever seen in my life, actually, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, just a... An amazing start to the 1988 series with Scarecrows. Uh, I know this this DVD is out of print, um, so it does go for a little bit of money. I recently picked this one up for about 50, and it's a lot more than I usually like to pay for DVDs. But I said, "Fuck it, I need it for my 88 collection," so I had to grab it. Um, and that was actually shipped too, so that's not overly too bad considering some of the prices on this one. But but yeah, uh, Scarecrows. If you've never seen this, definitely check it out, especially if you love Scarecrow films. It's awesome. It's definitely worth your time to check out um and i you know the 15 i think is worth it so but yeah scarecrows for week one here on the 1988 series uh, i think that's pretty much all i can say about that check it out i highly highly recommend it it's awesome okay guys so i'll be back next week of course i do not know what the movie's gonna be same thing as last year it's all gonna be done in the randomizer um i think it's fantastic it just it keeps me so excited from week to week and you know, it makes me keep wanting to do the series if I don't know what I'm doing next. So, but yeah, guys, I'll be back next week with week two. Thank you for watching. And yes, peace out, homies.